everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I will be sharing with you our weekend getaway from Dublin to the south of Ireland. Watch until the end to witness another vlog with astonishing scenes in this emerald island. Welcome back to my channel, Rain or Shine. In this travel video, we are going to explore the coast of County Cork here in the south of Ireland. Our first stop is the small fishing village of Ballycotton. Actually, this village is a resettlement because the older one is now entirely underwater. This village experiences a serious coastal erosion every year. Let's now start exploring the town. When we were walking around the Ballycotton coast, I cannot help but imagine where the old village is now. I tried to visualize houses under the blue Atlantic water still standing to where they used to be. Due to the severe coastal erosion, Ballycotton is a site of international research. The village is calm like most other Irish villages. I loved listening to the waves hitting the rocks and breathing the fresh air without the presence of other people. I observed that locals know each other by name and would greet both the familiar and visiting faces. For lunch, we chose this local cafe called The Troll Door. Their foods were utterly mouth-watering. The cafe serves organic and gluten-free desserts, which we did not fail to try. It was a perfect combination to a hot coffee. We have now finished visiting the lovely village of Balikotan. First, we will check in in our B&B and then we will keep exploring the coast near Kinsale. After lunch, we checked in in our B&B called Wild Orchid. The owner of the house is very hospitable and zestful. He is in fact an artist and we noticed his walls decorated with his beautiful paintings.
we took a lovely stroll around Charles Fort. Charles Fort is a star-shaped military fortress constructed by the English between 1677 and 1682 during the reign of King Charles II to protect the town and harbour of Kinsale. The construction happened after the defeat of the Irish earls and their Spanish allies in the Battle of Kinsale. This fact allowed the continuation of the policy of plantation in Northern Ireland, and since then, England tightened its control over Ireland until the Irish independence in 1921. We have finished walking around the surroundings of the Charles Fort, but it's already closed inside, so we will just come back tomorrow. We are going to eat our dinner before going to our sunset location. We have been wasting our time looking for a place to eat, but unfortunately everything is full and you have to make a reservation and we didn't do it so we just bought MLA takeaway and we got some Singaporean food Chana was looking for the receipt of the food and then he saw this they put a note we saw you on YouTube nice one, good luck that is so sweet Singapore noodle with prawn. Mm. Oh, it smells like Singapore. I mean, yummy. I miss Singapore. Why do you miss Singapore? Because it's the best country in the world. Yeah, yeah. Da -da -da -da. Nasi goreng. Ooh. Mm. Mm, it smells so good. We have now arrived in our last destination for today. This is the Novo Cove. We are so lucky because the way going here is very narrow. We thought there would be no parking space. So we are just so lucky that we got a parking space. The maximum number of cars that can park here is five. So if you are visiting Novo Cove, be very careful because if you come here early in the morning or early in the afternoon, it can get really busy. Now it's 8 o'clock in the evening, so we are very lucky that we have a space to park. Novel Cove is not yet known, and even the owner of the B&B mentioned that he never heard about this place. I was deeply mesmerized with the views that I experienced in this area. It was just me and my husband, and the sea stacks with distinctive shapes. It was a perfect way to end our day. We were blessed with colorful and dramatic skyline as we watched the sunset. I hope that this place will remain as it is today. The rain has already arrived here. Look at this, that's totally gray, and this is not. We are now finished for today, so we're just gonna go back to our B&B, and we'll see you tomorrow. They stole my clothes. It's our second day here in County Cork and finally we are visiting the colorful town of Kinsale. It is one of the most beautiful towns in Ireland. It is quiet and peaceful in the morning but in the afternoon you will experience a lively and energetic Kinsale. Kinsale is famous for its colorful streetscapes and rich history fueled by great people, food, boutiques, and events. 
Kinsale is a vibrant coastal town with an energetic personality that will keep you entertained. We amused ourselves in taking a stroll in the town's flamboyant streets. We were also greeted by a few locals going to church on a Sunday early morning. For decades, Kinsale has attracted a plethora of talented artists and innovative entrepreneurs. This is reflected in the stunning boutique stores, cute and creative design shops, and endless galleries and bookstores. This town is very beautiful. It's different from the other Irish towns. You should really come and visit here. After a few hours, the streets began to get busy with more tourists from other towns. It was immensely entertaining to watch high-spirited, old but young at heart locals dancing together with kids in their small square. It is no doubt one of the most picturesque towns in Ireland. If you want to know other impressive small towns, please watch our top 5 small towns in Ireland vlog, link below. We found this handmade Irish artisan chocolate store and I love chocolate so I couldn't resist. We bought one. This cost $5.50. It is in the shape of spoon. <laughs> it's lunch time but again we couldn't get a good spot in the restaurants that we have chosen. It's always full because it's Sunday so we just chose to have a takeaway. We got this cod burger. Ta da! It smells so good. And we also got some fish and chips. In Ireland, you can never go wrong with fish and chips. After eating our lunch, we headed to the Charles Fort to see the interior. You can access the site for free, but due to the restrictions, some areas are closed to the public. Subsequently, we went to the other side of the river to see the James Fort. Located opposite Charles Fort, James Fort is a pentagonal bastion fort. It has a commanding position guarding the small harbor of Kinsale. This fort was built in 1607. The fort remains a most interesting example of 17th century military architecture and offers wonderful views of the town, river, harbor, and Charles Fort. The Dog Beach is the best known of Kinsale's beaches. It is a small yet beautiful sandy beach located just over the bridge and a short walk from the town center. Before we ended our trip, we had an afternoon snack in this cafe with a stunning view of the sea. Along the beach, there were families taking delight of the perfectly splendid weather, which does not come by often in Ireland. And finally, our last stop on this trip was the old head of Kinsale. The old head of Kinsale is home to the most spectacular world-class golf course and luxury members accommodation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.